Hey guys, what's happening? Got something I want to share with all of you today, especially all you knife guys out there. Very excited. So here's a quick video. Before we get to the blade, check this out. Cold Steel Catalog. Oh yeah. Check these blades out. These things. 2011 Voyagers. Now these have been unavailable for quite some time actually. Why? Because Cold Steel was basically taking time to reinvent their Voyager series of folding knives. And honestly those uh, pre-2010 models, at least for me, they just meh, didn't, they just didn't do it for me, didn't like them that much. So what they did was they took it out of their product line for quite a while and they reinvented it. They fixed everything I didn't like about it and here is the re-release and oh man. These things are all great, clear winners for Cold Steel. Comes in three varieties, all right? Here's one. This is the Vaquero. This is the newest one. Has an interesting blade shape here. It's got a recurve in the blade, all right? Then we have the Tanto, the Americanized Tanto point. I like that, don't have one sadly, but here's my pick of the litter right here. This is the clip point. I just think it's the most useful. Now, without further ado, here is the blade, alright? Pretty, I like this thing. Alright, i to show you this. It comes in completely plain edge, or if you prefer, comes in a combo edge. By that, if you don't know what that is already, I can't see. Alright. Basically, one half of the blade is serrations. The remaining half of the blade is just plain edge. Honestly, I hate serrations, so I just went for this. Now the blade is made of AUS 8A Japanese stainless steel. All right? I have no problems with the choice of steel here. It keeps the price low, it's easy enough to sharpen, and it is really fairly rust resistant, I must say. I live in a tropical climate, so outside it's usually really, really freaking humid, but my OS 8A blades have never rusted on me. Ever. Your mileage may vary depending on the, how well you take care of your knives, how well you oil them, how often you oil them, all that stuff, but I like to take care of my stuff, so if you take care of your stuff, it's gonna last you a while. That's a new finish, alright, it's called a stonewash finish. This is new to the Voyager series and new to Cold Steel actually. Now it's kind of, uh, just Google marble table. The sur I can't speak anymore. The surface of the table is what the surface of the blade looks like. Personally, I prefer a shinier blade. This is a mirror polished blade. Alright, this is the medium espada. I just prefer this to this. Yeah. It just looks more impressive to me. I don't know. But, you get what you pay for. Didn't pay very much for this thing. So, can't complain there. Apparently this new finish is supposed to help uh, with the rust resistance. And I see no specks of rust. So I guess it's doing its job. The blade is full flat ground. Alright. Makes it easy to sharpen because the top part here is flat. That's a plus. Now. There's a, there's a downside to the FFG. It's not going to last as long in terms of sharpness as a hollow ground blade. For example, uh, we have the Spartan. Oh man, that's heavy. Alright, I'll just show you. You can see the grind starting from about right here, halfway, goes down, you can feel it. Alright, this is going to last longer in terms of sharpness than the full flat grind. Now the trade-off is with a full flat grind it's easier to reprofile. So I guess you gotta pick one or the other. I prefer FFG. That's just me. So how do you open this thing? Well we got thumb studs. For all you lefties out there you're in luck because this thing is completely ambidextrous. You can use a thumb stud on both sides, either hand same thing with the pocket clip. Out of the factory it comes uh, for right side carry, but if you wanted to, you could take this off, just 
screw it in on the other side of the handle and you have left side carry. Now as a side note, this comes situated for tip up carry only, okay? Now the problem with the Voyager's thumb stud, the previous Voyager's thumb stud, I mean, was that it was volcano shaped. It was, a, it was like a little cone which posed a problem when you're trying to open the knife because there's more of a chance for your thumb to slip off of the thumb stud as you're trying to push it and the blade would come down possibly on your fingers but here it's more uh, cylindrical it's more like a little tube all right so there's a lot less chance of your thumb slipping off of the thumb stud and less chance of you cutting yourself it just just safer, alright? It's the same thumb stud that we've seen on the Espada, and this thing is lightning fast. Okay, a little bit of practice, you can get that out really fast. Okay, excellent thumb studs. Now, if you can see on the inside of the handle, probably not, I apologize. You can't see it, but there are steel liners on the inside of the grip, alright? To add to the uh, rigidity of the blade, this thing's not going anywhere. You can't squish this, you can't do nothing, alright? One possible problem is that uh, they did not mill out any of the liners. They didn't drill any holes, okay? Now you might say, well that's kind of, that's kind of disappointing. Why didn't they drill holes in there for weight reduction? But if you think about it, what if you were them? The drilling of holes is expensive, which means they would have to jack up the price of the knife way up. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not willing to pay, I don't know, $30 extra just so I could have a 0.5 ounce weight reduction. I just don't think it's worth it. So I have no problem with the weight of this blade. Uh, 7.2 ounces, by the way, so I don't know what weighs 7.2 ounces. Go do your math, go do your physics, and uh, think of something that weighs 7.2 ounces, if you want to compare. Okay. Now just because it's interesting to me, let's do a size comparison. So we got the extra large Voyager, and the medium Espada. Alright. This has got 3.5 inches for the blade, this thing got 5.5 inches. Yep, it's huge. And we have the Spartan, okay. This thing is still bigger. Impressive. And finally, we got 6 inch tie rod. Very popular. I didn't show you how the wave feature worked last time. So here's how it works. Those ridges, it's in your pocket. Pull it out of your pocket. It's ready. That's how it works. In case you haven't seen that happen already, alright? Can't even fit it in the frame. Right, there. Sure, this thing's longer. This, I mean. But you're getting a lot more cutting power out of uh, the Voyager here. Because, well, just look at it. Wider blade, click point. This is an excellent map. They all are, actually.